Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. I have a review here for you guys. Uh, I just got this today and I don't need to play with it anymore to um, make a review. I already made up my mind. I got this at um, Beth, um, Beth Body and Beyond. And it's this right here. It's not, it's $20. Okay. Good grips. I like it because it's sturdy. You guys look at it. It's really cool. I really like it. It has the back that's open and you could just pour it out into there. I already made some tomatoes. You see that? It chopped up the tomatoes, but you guys got to cut them in half, okay, guys? Don't put the whole tomato in there. You can use whatever tomatoes you like. I love this. Um, it's, it's just really sturdy. The plastic is, like, good quality. It's very sturdy, you guys. And it comes with this. Sorry for the video shaking, guys. I'm sorry if it's a little dark, but we're having a storm, so it's dark out. And... You see this here, right? This rubber thing just comes out and you can clean it and whatnot. Um, I don't know if this is dishwasher safe, you guys. It's 20 bucks. Um, <clears throat> I mean, it, let me let me try out some things. Here's a tomato. I've already gone and chopped up some onion and stuff. Uh, you do have to cut them in half, you guys. Okay. And you just press down. Okay. See that? It's very easy. That's the first tomato that's stuck, but they don't stick. Now, the squares, you guys, are about a half inch. I have a problem with that because if, if you're making, like, scrambled eggs or, I mean, omelets or whatever, this is great for you. But the, the, the square cutter is, is a little too big because I mainly bought this one to make pico de gallo. I love pico de gallo. I put it on everything, but I just dread making it because I got to chop everything by hand so I don't make it anymore I haven't had it I haven't made it in like over a year and a half because I just I don't have time I dread having to make it and it's getting really expensive because I have to buy it at the store you know how it's already made it's expensive it could be three to three to five bucks depending on where you go and it's not that good anyway the tomatoes in it are not even ripe you don't get a lot of cilantro but anyway I'm going to try um, these little um, peppers here, and I uh, de-seeded it, so if that's even a word. I took the seeds out because these are very, very hot. They're not jalapenos, but I, f I forgot what they were, serrano or something? Anyway, you guys, the grip on this is amazing. You see that? I don't know why the lighting's horrible. See that? I mean, I love how quick it is. I love how sturdy it is, you guys. The plastic is, like, really thick, and it has some power to it. Like, it really just goes down. It clicks. It's not like one of those where you have to struggle to push down. I love this, but my... I don't like how big the squares are, you guys. They're about a half inch, and I don't, I don't know, you guys. I'm debating on going back... Should I keep it or should I just, here's the, uh, go, to, um, back to Bath and Body and Beyond or whatever they call it and, um, exchange it for, for the, um, the Dahlia one. There, there was a Vidalia one. It's $20 also. And it's the one that you saw on TV, except it's longer and thinner. And I don't know, you guys, I don't know. Maybe I should go get one from Walmart. I don't know. It's just, they, they look so flimsy. And the plastic here looks, I mean, you guys, this, maybe I'm just going to keep it. Maybe I'm just going to keep it. So here's the onion, you guys. You do need to peel the onion and cut them in, into quarters, okay? Because I tried the half. It was a little bit of a struggle. But here it goes. There was a struggle with that one, but you do have to. Anyway, okay, let's see. See in the back, it has like an opening. You see that? It has an opening, you guys, and you could just do this. Let's see, I have the have the bowl here. Look at that. Look at that, you guys. I already got pico already. You see that? It's just 
This is great for like if you're sauteing something or making a dish or, or <clears throat> excuse me, scrambled eggs or omelets. It's great. But for pico, I don't know, you guys, these, <clears throat> these chunks are pretty big. I mean, I'm just going to have to get used to it because I, I really like the sturdiness. I, I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not, you guys. But I just want to let you know um, the squares are a half inch. Okay, it's a 2.5 cup, but you're not, you know, guys, when you buy stuff like this, you don't have to worry about how many cups or milliliters or whatever, because you're going to keep dumping it out to a dish anyway. Okay, so it has the grip thing in the bottom. <clears throat> you guys, this is really sturdy plastic. I mean, this is great quality. It's amazing quality. These are <clears throat> so sharp. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys, the peppers are really hot. And this right here is dishwasher safe, I think. And it just comes out like that. Cleaning is easy. You just rinse it out. See? See? And then you pop it back in. See? Just pop it back in. And it doesn't have little grooves to where you have to keep, like, cleaning. Oh, my God. You just take this out. That's what I love about this engineering. Like, it's amazing and the quality is really really good if you guys want to go get that okay but don't expect the quarter size cuts if you if you are a pico de gallo lover the chunks will be big i mean these are half inch okay look at look at that that's a little bit bigger than a half inch okay these are huge so i'm i'm going to have it's going to take some use get getting used to you guys so I'm going to chop up the other pepper. See, it's really sharp, you guys. I'm just having difficulty because I'm I'm filming and I'm one-handed. So I hope you guys like this video. Sorry for the lighting and the shaking, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.